I'm balancing the battery at the moment. Very interesting to watch. And I'm using the the e-bike charger. Oh, it's a bit of dark here, sorry. Um, the e-bike charger with an extension cable from the house. So I'm using grid power to charge the battery because there's no sun. I think this will balance the battery until tomorrow morning. Top balance. Totally automatically. I'll show you how. Um, so at the moment you can see we are at 53.4 volts total pack voltage and all the cells are nice and happy together with only 8 millivolt deviation. So this is all good still but you will see in a minute that the deviation actually goes up and no, it goes down. I was just talking about the deviation going up. Come on battery. Anyway you will see again number six seven and eight will have a higher voltage than all the other cells. So something is definitely wrong with these three cells, but only if we are at the far top of the battery pack of the voltage or at the far bottom of the voltage. So when you go into these steep curves, bottom or top, then these three cells will peak out. In between where the flat area of the curve is, these three cells blend in with all the other ones and I've got only between 5 and 10 millivolt difference between all the cells, even under high load. So there is no issue anymore. And I think this is pretty normal as many of you have said, well, it is, it is a battery. We've got 16 different cells here and they're all different. They won't act as one battery or as one cell. They're all different. They've got different behavior, different internal resistance, different chemical stuff in there, you know, all the goop inside these batteries might be slightly different to the other ones. And they are certainly not matched. So, and here is what I think will work. Okay, well, let me explain this. I need, I need this piece of paper here. Yeah, that's good enough. It is. So the e-bike charger has a voltage of 54.6 volt. This is constant voltage. So it does not charge the battery higher than 54.6 volt. 54.6 divided by 16. So the charger in theory will not charge the cells higher than 3.4 volts each of them if they are all balanced so that's a good thing it doesn't overcharge the battery pack it doesn't overcharge any cells if they are balanced so and as you can see at the moment we still have 53.5 so it's slowly coming up it's slowly creeping up and once the battery so you've got your charger and this has a fixed voltage of 54.6 volts right and you got your battery the battery at the moment has only 53.5 volts. So there is a voltage difference between, between charger and battery. That's why we have current flowing into the battery. Yeah, 2.4 amps at the moment going into the battery. So the more the battery rises now, the less voltage difference we have between the charger, which is fixed, and the battery. So the battery comes closer and closer to the charger voltage. And what will happen with the current? It will go down. And at some stage, once the battery has reached 54.6 volt, the current will go to zero because there's no voltage difference anymore between the battery and the charger. There is there is 0, 0.00 volt difference between these two. And this means there will be no current flowing. What I have done now is I have set the, I'll show you. Here, here, here. I have set the balance turn on voltage to 3.4 volts. Once any of these battery cells here reaches 3.4 volts, the balancer will kick in and discharge the battery. This should only occur if the battery is almost full, right? With the charger. So at this point at 3.4 volts, 
there is very, very little current flowing from the charger into the battery, actually. And I think this current will be a lot less than the 0 0.2 amps the balancing current is. Yeah, this is the maximum. Oh, you can't even see it. This is the maximum balance current the BMS can do 0 0.2 amps. And this will kick in at 3.4 volts. So what I think is now, because the voltage difference is so small between the charger and the battery at some stage here, once the battery is a bit higher charged, the actual balance current will make sense and will discharge these cells again. And because we are keep charging the battery with this very small amount of current, we will still charge the battery cells which are lower than 3.4 volts. But the ones which have reached 3.4, they should stay at 3.4. So tomorrow morning, I'm expecting all these battery cells will have 3.4 volts. Yeah, does this make sense? I think it will top balance the battery until tomorrow morning with the e-bike charger as my power source overnight. See, at the moment we are still one volt away from the 54.6, but because we are already at the higher curve and then at the end it goes up again, we are already here. So we are very close to the tipping point where the actual voltage rises very quickly. So let this charge for a while here and I'll come back and show you once the battery voltage has risen a little bit and we are getting closer to the actual charger voltage. Well, so now after 15, 20 minutes or so, uh, charging at zero amps, now it's actually charging with two amps, but it doesn't show anything below two amps. So anyway, it doesn't matter. We are now at 54 volts pack voltage. And remember the charger charges only until 54.6. So we are getting close. And you can see number six. Oh, number eight is high. Number three is low. And the deviation is getting higher. Because remember, we are in this steep up curve now of the of the battery charging. You know from my other videos before, number six is usually the lowest one, but now it's the highest one. That tells us, well, number six has a higher resistance. Number eight as well. Number seven, I don't know yet. Okay, so now we have to wait until the first cell hits actually. It's really too dark. So, and you can see we are still charging with 3.7. And remember, this is the maximum the charger can do. It's a 5 amp charger, but they tricked me and gave me only a 3.7 amp charger. 3.8 sometimes. Well, that's fine. So, now we can see we've got 54.1 and the charger has 54.6. So, we are somewhere probably here, not too far away. 54.1 volts. So the voltage difference is now smaller. Cell number six again, highest cell at the moment in the pack, 3.4 balancing kicks in as designed. But because we are charging still with 3.7 amps, the 0 0.2 amps we are taking away at the same time for the balancing does not matter. So the voltage will keep rising in this cell. And there's the second cell, which has reached 3.4, balancing as well. And all the other cells, they will catch up. So the theory now is because the charge current will get smaller and smaller, the higher our battery voltage rises, 54.2. We are already another little step closer to the maximum charge of 54.6. Number seven is balancing. So again, six, seven, eight are balancing the first highest cells in the pack. We now have 54.4 volts. 
and here we go the current has already decreased to 2.4 amps only and you probably can watch it going down fairly quickly now yeah it goes down 54.4 54.6 has the charger we've got only a difference of 0 0.2 volts and you could see the current already going down so and now we can also see here in the whole pack that all these cells with a B behind it flashing they're all balancing they're all over 3.4 volts and the same on this side and there will be more and more and more the longer we will charge but now here comes the trick because our charging current will taper off as we come in closer to 54.6 the balancing actually makes sense and it should balance the battery down to 3.4 volts 0 0.1 volt difference and we can see all the battery cells on this side except this one down here are over 4 volts now so they all have catched up and our number 6 is still the highest and voltage is still rising because we are still charging more into the batteries than we actually take away with the balancing and the the current from the power supply will not reduce any further because i've got the light running and some other standby loads here but we have to have a look here at the smart shunt this shows us exactly how much power goes into the battery and we are at 230 milliamps at the moment going into the battery from the charger the rest of the 1.6 amps will go into my light and stand by so we have now the situation that our balancing starts to make sense because we are not pushing much power into the batteries anymore it's almost the same as we take away with the balancing and if we wait another 10 15 minutes or so i'm sure this one will go under 200 milliamps charging current going into the battery and then we will see real result of the balancing power of the BMS and all the cell voltages should drop and exactly this has now happened we are pushing only 150 milliamps into the battery now but discharging the battery discharging single cells with 200 milliamps and now one could say Andy why don't you turn off the charging power completely and leave the batteries balanced then well if we take off the charging current altogether the cells with a lower voltage will never catch up right so we still need to charge these cells which are lower with which are under 3.4 volts and discharge the ones which are higher than 3.4 volts and that's why we need to keep the charger running but at the same time discharging the ones which are over and eventually they should all meet at about 3.4 volts um at, at this stage i'm not 100 percent sure because the uh, 54.6 volts are actually 3.4 to 5 volts per cell so it wants to charge all the battery cells to this voltage exactly but we are pushing it down to 3.4 volts so in theory i need to set the balance voltage the same as the maximum charging voltage of the charger right so they are exactly the same and only cells which are over this voltage should be discharged and eventually all the cells should have 3.4125 volts and none of them should be over this voltage or under this voltage and there also should be no current going into the battery anymore because the charger voltage is then the same as the battery voltage that's the theory behind it if this works i don't know i will see tomorrow morning i'll leave this running overnight i'll check a couple of times um, this evening if there's any progress if we get closer we are now at 59 millivolt deviation across the whole pack so usually exactly this happens when you charge your battery to the top to the maximum the balancer of your bms will kick in at some stage depending on your programming and will discharge the battery cells which are higher 
then the actual balance voltage. And then the voltage drops, the BMS balancer turns off, and it starts again with the next cycle when you charge up your battery again to this voltage, and then the balancer kicks in, discharges to have higher battery cells, and so on and so on. So it could take a long time, a lot of cycles, hitting this maximum voltage of the balancer, basically. Uh, damn it, it is 11 o'clock already. 